Hey guys, um, today was a my, uh, mini shopping haul of necessities because we were out of items that are kind of like um, just something we use or have all the time. But one of the things that we ordered through Walmart was mom wanted some tasty cakes and they didn't have the, the six packs that we were going to get her. They had like the individual, the individual ones. So I ran over to Dollar Tree on my way home. Uh, to get her the taste of cake she likes. I got two packs of six. I don't know how many she wants or whatnot, but, you know, mom wanted them. I tried to get them for her, so. And I got myself because I've been craving, I don't know why I want um, sour cream and onion flavored Pringles potato chips. So I got myself a small tu uh, tube of them. So that lasts me a couple days until my craving is over with. I don't know why I, I get these weird cravings. Hold on one second. My sunlight decided to uh, take a nap. Mm -hmm. Okay, that does a little bit better. It was nice and sunny. All of a sudden, a cloud decided to move in. I'm like, you rotten rat. Um, I have a picture of it, which I will try to put at the end of this video. But we needed water softener salt. So I got a, two bags. I think there are 20 to 40 pound bags of the rock salt for your water softener. I happened to look in there yesterday because it sounded a little weird. And yeah, we're about to a quarter, quarter of a tank. So get some more. Um, because, I well, the creamer that we got in bulk, we use a little bit at a time, but... We also like to have a variety, so Jerry got another thing of Italian sweet cream. Um, I'm not minding the um, the Splenda creamer, shelf stable creamer, um, just to make it more flavorful for me. For me, I use we have flavored uh, coffee syrups, and I've been using um, the uh, caramel truffle, tr whatever it's called. <laughs> Oh, that's what it is, English coffee. I don't know what I've got down there, I forgot. And I didn't have my coffee today. I decided not to have coffee today. Um, might have been a mistake, I might have to have a cup of coffee. But we also got, well, Jan, I've been trying to consume it slowly, but another 12 pack of my favorite soda. Um, 12 pack has been lasting me a little over a week, because once in a while I just feel like I need an extra can. Um, but at least we're trying to control it. Um, Jay Ann also got herself some Stevia soda. She got a cream soda flavor. And a ginger ale flavor. Um, the reason why I seem like I'm a little slow is I'm tired. I'm sore. Yesterday, as you probably saw from my other video, we put in a good hard day. Um, so today might be one of those either lightweight days or just sit back and relax days. I don't know. Um, I might have to go in there and fix up the pantry a little bit because it's a little bit of a chaotic mess. My fault. Totally my fault because I'm the one who did it. Um, we're down to one thing of ground beef. So we got a big package of ground beef. We'll section this ground beef, off, ground beef into four quarters. Um... Basically, each quarter will equal roughly, yeah, will equal roughly a pound because that's a 4.5 pound package of ground beef. So, and if you're uh, a member of my wife's channel, Jerry Ann Henson, um, you'll see a cooking video from the other day where we make a bacon wrapped cheeseburger roll. So, she said tomorrow. So, basically, what we do is we, it's like a, I don't know if you'd call it a meatloaf because you don't add any, like, um, the only binding ingredient you add is egg. Um, but you lay it flat and, well, you'll see the video tomorrow. But that's what we use two pounds worth of meat for. That's why we're only down to one package. Jerry Ann ordered, she loves the pecan smoked wings. They did not have the pecan smoked wing or the flavored wings. The, the... They have flavored. Huh? Oh, yeah, they didn't have the plain one, so she got, I don't know what flavor this is, but it's basically pecan smoked chicken wings. 
I'm not a big chicken wing fan, but uh, when we do have them, I will eat. I will eat some of them. Um, you like those ones, right? Yeah, I like the pecan smoked ones, but I'm not a big. I because of issues with chicken bone and whatnot. I'm not a big chicken. I don't like wings that often because of the bone, but I will eat whatever is in front of me. So I don't know. I'm weird. We were down to one package of bacon, so we bought two packages of hickory smoked bacon. Um, you know. That was a substitution. I ordered one big pack. Oh. And they bought one twenty-two pack, and they sent me two pounds for the same price, so that was a good deal. Okay, so you had, so this is a substitution because you ordered a bigger pack. All right. Hey, it works. Don't know why, but um. Some members of the family decided to buy a frozen whole strawberries. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put that, but I'll find a place for it. And then, of course, two of our, or not two, but yeah, two of our mainstays in the house is two packs of frozen Brussels sprouts. We do all kinds of different things with frozen Brussels sprouts. And then Jerry and Ann needed some more riced cauliflower. I keep on wanting to say cauliflower rice, but it's rice cauliflower. It's the same thing, though. Um, I guess we have an idea to do what to do, but Diane bought some lemons. I think she's making like a lemon something scone type um, keto friendly dish or dessert, whatever. We were running low or almost out of bacon bits for salads. So we got more bacon bits. And because I pulled out the last um, frozen loaf of sourdough bread, we got some more of our sourdough bread. That's a substitution. Oh, it's a substitution? Why? We got the store, we ordered the store brand. Oh, we ordered the store brand and they gave us uh, Peckridge Farms? Yeah. Okay, hey. Same price. Same price, still good. Mm -hmm. So, excuse me. Um, that was today's uh, mini shopping haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them in the question comment box. If you're new to my channel and like seeing shopping videos when I do them or a variety of different videos, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and then a little bell will pop up and click on that bell and YouTube will put in um, a notification when I have my uh, next video up. Until next time, have a good day. Bye.